There's always an adventure around the farm here. Graham Batty has quite the hobby farm. Goats, alpacas, all types of fowl, including this relatively rare white peacock. Last week, there were two of them. But this is about what happened next. I came outside and the two of them were loose in the backyard. So I was able to corral one of them back into the barn, but uh, the other one decided to, you know, had, had other plans. And that's got the neighborhood talking. The peacock was looking in the window and the dog was freaking out. So I came out and, well, my wife came out. We didn't, like, what kind of bird is that? Todd's wife posted to the local Facebook group, is someone missing a peacock? The comments and sightings rolled in, and Victoria Fernati figured out just what she saw on her lawn. I saw white. I even thought maybe a swan at first, and I know that they can be a little more aggressive. aggressive yeah. So I was in my car trying to take pictures, but... So you were hiding from the oh, bird at first? Yeah, yeah, I was. <laughs> Absolutely. I didn't know what to expect. The white peacock, or peafowl, has a genetic mutation. So instead of that iridescent blue and teal we're used to seeing, its feathers are pure white instead. I'm driving around the neighborhood trying to see if I can get a sighting of the runaway bird. So far, no luck, although I'm not exactly sure what I would do if I did spot it. I'm not exactly a peacock wrangler. Many birds, especially young birds, are known to imprint on parent figures. So one of the things you could do is dress up as a peafowl, dress up as a peacock, beautiful feathers, and try and lure the the bird home trying to get him to follow you might work i'm quite optimistic that we'll manage to catch it how i don't know yet but don't blame the peacock for its adventures the real culprit is sparkles she's the one who nudged this door open letting it out sarah levitt cbc news saint lazare quebec